Right guys, so it's been a while since I did one of these. We're back with an SBC review video. I've got you covered. Um, if you're interested in, you know, who's worth it uh, to get, then I'm here to give you the info. If you enjoy these videos, please do leave a like. I don't know whether you guys want to see these anymore. Uh, if you do, please do leave a like. I'd appreciate that. Uh, comment any thoughts, you know, on these SBCs. Maybe you think I've made a tragic error in my judgment with some of these. Uh, just let me know. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. If you need the cheapest FC25 coins to build your super team, then check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so starting off, we do have these two that I've completed uh, on my own account. We do have Alex Garcia and Taram. Both pretty solid players. Uh, Taram is he's a bit of a lump up top. You know, he's quick, he's insane in the air, and Garcia is just like a sort of capable box-to-box -box midfielder not too much to say on those i think taram has been quite popular in the community uh we have these ones who we're not going to spend too much time on these foundation sbcs because I, I personally think they're shocking uh, you'll have to let me know your thoughts we have this guy omar mamouche now i was playing champs last night and i kept coming up against this guy and i, I had no idea who it even was i didn't know he had this player of the month but he's actually pretty good. Uh, he's got the four-star skills, only a three-star weak foot, sadly. But he is rapid. He's good on the ball, clinical. His passing's good, nice physicals. Um, and he has chip shot plus, which is a waste. But pinged pass is nice. Technical, first touch. Um, advanced forward. You know, he's, he's a pretty good card. Super cheap as well. So he is one I'd recommend. We have Alex Morgan. Now, all these American, like, meta females, they're absolutely insane. Uh, you've got, like, the Swanson, uh, Sophia Smith, this Alex Morgan. They're all absolutely cracked. Uh, she's got the five-star weak foot, four-star skills. This card does not miss. You get her in front of goal, it is hitting the back of the net. 9.9 9 times out of 10. Uh, finesse shot plus as well. Card's genuinely crazy. Uh, poacher plus plus. If you're able to build a team around these American female players, she is definitely one to get. I think you can use this card for a long time and it's going to be effective. Uh, we have Kavrat Skellia. Travesty that he's not able to play as a cam, but the card is still good. 5-5, five, five, you know, good pace on the ball, all that stuff. It's got some good play styles and the finesse, incisive, technical. Um, it does have Trickster as well, which is actually good this year because you get the unique Trickster, like, ball roll fake shot animation. When you do a fake shot, that's really effective. Uh, but he's an inside forward plus plus out on the left wing. He's a, he's a good card. We have Aldasari. Uh, Five-star weak foot, four-star skills. The card's pretty decent. Um, it's a decent enough link, you know, if you're fitting in some of the Saudi League players because there's some good cards in there. It's just the chemistry is an absolute nightmare. Uh, but he, he seems pretty decent. Uh, the gold first touch as well. Cole Palmer, just an okay card. You know, it's nothing spectacular. You sort of have to play him as a cam because of his lack of pace. Much more options, you know, elsewhere that I'd rather go towards. Uh, it's okay, though. You know, he's clinical, good passing, good on the ball. Uh, does have dead ball plus, which is sadly a bit of a waste. But he's pretty decent. Uh, we have Varan. I wouldn't do this SBC because you've got Saliba, who is almost an identical card, who is, like, cheaper tradable. So... I wouldn't do this one personally. Uh, I'd actually argue Saliba is a bit better. Just feels less clunky in game. Uh, but the, the card is good. I know Varane's a very popular FC player. We have this Alajibe or Ajabade. Aj I don't know. I really don't know. But four star, four star. Good pace, clinical, good on the ball. Excellent physicals as well with that strength. Uh, rapid, quick step, relentless and flair. And you can play her in a number of positions. It's a pretty good card. I've come up against it in champs and it does cause some issues. Di Lorenzo. Uh, this is pretty good because that league was crying out for a right back. And he's pretty well rounded. You know, as an overlapping or even a stay back defender. He's going to be pretty decent. Good pace. He's good on the ball. Um, his defend defending for this point in the game for a fullback is really good. And then he has excellent physicals as well. Just a pretty solid all-round card, to be honest with you. 
Uh, some nice play styles as well. You've got whipped pass, jockey, intercept, first touch, rapid. That's a solid card I'd recommend. This is the one you want to be completing. This is an absolute steal in my opinion. Five star, five star. It is Jorginho Ruta. So he's got the 5-5, five, five, really good pace. You need a chem style to boost that shooting up a bit. But once you do that, you've got yourself like a Premier League Neymar that has insane strength and jumping. Uh, he really does feel like that in game. Super smooth on the ball, good passing. Um, that strength is outrageous for somebody that's this good on the ball at this stage of the game. Uh, he's got incisive pings, and you do get that trickster uh, with what I was saying. You know, that that trickster fake shot is very effective this year. And on a card like this, that's going to be really glitchy with his dribbling strength. It's pretty valuable, man. And at six foot, uh, you know, with 97 jumping, he's also going to win stuff in the air. Like, this card can do it all. It's one of the better forwards in the game at this point. Can also play him cam or striker. I think this is a must complete for this stage of the game. It's one of the meta Premier League cards, 5-5. Five, five, just a really good all-round card. Uh, we have Yamal. I wouldn't complete this one. Uh, I don't really like him in-game. You know, the lack of weak foot, no five-star skills. You know, his composure is really low. Uh, I think they've done him dirty. Awful stamina as well. I, I would stay, stay clear of Yamal personally. Uh, we have some more of these foundation cards, which we're not going to waste time on. Danjuma's still kicking about. Still to this day, I see, I see some people using him in-game. It's a pretty decent card. Uh, more foundations. We have this Angel or Angel Gomez. 4-4. Four, four. Um, you want to be playing him really not as a cam, in my opinion. Uh, either a centre mid or a CDM. He's sort of a really good just box-to-box -box. Uh, you know, he's excellent on the ball, good passing, his shooting's decent, good pace for the middle of the pitch. Uh, he can sort of do it all. He's got finesse shot, incisive, technical. It's it's a pretty decent card. We have this Awobi as well, uh, who you can actually play as a centre mid, and that is where you're going to want to play him. Um, Four-star skills, three-star weak foot. He's going to be rapid in the middle of the pitch. It's like a box-to-box -box centre mid. He's going to be pretty crazy. 95 dribbling on the base of his card as well. That is insane. Uh, and some good play styles and stuff as well. It's a shame that he doesn't have a plus uh, for a centre mid position. But either way, the card's very good. We have Sterling. I would probably stay clear because of the price. But the card is actually pretty decent. You know, you can play him variety of attacking positions. He's quick, clinical, good on the ball. His strength's even decent. Finesse shot, long ball, whipped pass, rapid and quick step. It's a decent card. We have Swanson. This is one of the ones I was talking about earlier with these American women. Unbelievable card. Five star weak foot, four star skills, uh, variety of positions as well. They're all just quick with five star weak foots and clinical finishing, all of them. Like, it's ridiculous. If you can get Sophia Smith, Alex Morgan, and this Swanson in a team together, you're just absolutely set. Uh, they're just ridiculously sweaty cards. And that is going to bring us to the end of it, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these, do leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. And peace.